What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in LA at Soul Stage with the multi platinum icy girl, Sweetie. Hey, y'all. Gonna do some sneaker shopping today. Gonna see what she's feeling, what she's not, and then hopefully she's gonna buy some sneakers. I love, like, your camera voice. Let's go. <laughs> Sweetie, I want to talk about your family coming up. You said family full of fly women, mm -hmm. but it was really your grandmother who mm -hmm. inspired you. Every Thursday, hair and makeup was her ritual. Yes. Did she pass on like any of those habits to you? A lot, I'm sure. Um, Definitely a lot. She's just always been about her bag and she's always been hella glamorous. So I think that's where I get that from. And what was it like to be inspired by and influenced by like the household, like you said, with a bunch of women? I think they just made me want to look good, get dressed and have good hygiene. Yeah. A lot of people don't have good hygiene. OK, OK, <laughs> OK. So early on, they told you. Uh huh. I mean, they just I think it's important to have, you know, it takes a village to raise a baby, especially a baby girl. Mm -hmm. I felt like the women who raised me did a really great job. Love that. Mm -hmm. And we got to talk. Nelly Air Force Ones was a big moment for you. Oh my god. Nelly Air Force Ones, and you saw that video and you got obsessed with Air Force Ones, but you couldn't fit them all the time. They were always running out of my size, so I got a size bigger, so I used to have the double sock. Okay. I was so desperate okay. to get the Air Force Ones. <laughs> it's either the double sock or the other way is you take the insole the out. out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, like, coming up, do you remember one of your first good pairs? Was it Vans or what was, like, the step up in sneakers? Honestly. Is it the Dub Zero? Was it the Dub Zero? Because we're going to talk about the Dub oh, Zero. My mama had me a Skechers, so. Okay. <laughs> Skechers, I remember for Christmas, I begged for the Dub Zero to okay. my dad. My mom didn't really care about sneakers, so she was like, girl, you're like... So I never was into it, and then I would see my cousins and my friends mm -hmm. were they Nikes and they Jordans, and I begged my dad for some Dub Zeros, and okay. he got them for me. The black and gold ones, the right? The black and gold ones. And you wore them... You I, wore them to death, I, I wore I them heard. to death, and I was... I remember I was catching the bus home, and mm -hmm. it was raining. <laughs> And I ran through the grass. Damn. And you know, like the Dub Zeros got um, suede on it. Yeah. So the mud, like, cooked. It just, Caked in. It just, it just ruined the suede. But guess what? I still wore them. All right. That's the <laughs> sheet. Loyal, loyal to the Dub Zeros. Sweetie, the Jordan ones are a big favorite of yours. Mm -hmm. But you said that you also love the dunks. Now mm -hmm. you're like on a dunk phase. Is that fair to say? Um, definitely. And like when I look at dunks, it just reminds me of makeup and like lipstick and like powders. And okay. It's just like a whole bunch of art and murals and I just love it. Okay. So like the loud colors and like, you know, the Ben and Jerry's and everything going mm -hmm. on, it just reminds you of the other stuff that you're into. Definitely. It just, it feels like a candy store. Like I just want a bite of each shoe. Okay. Okay. <laughs> One thing, college picks of us mm -hmm. in general could go either way. Sometimes you say like, I'm a sneaker head and I've been mm -hmm. doing this. Sometimes you go on Facebook and there's college picks and it's like you're wearing bad footwear. Mm -hmm. San Diego State, before you transferred though. Oh, the um, sevens. Jordan Olympic the sevens. Olympics. I camped out for those. Did you? Uh-huh. So I was the face of the student store at San Diego State. Okay. Um, but I convinced like my roommates, my homegirls to come camp out with me because they didn't really care about shoes. Okay. But um, we had went to the San Diego mall and stayed there overnight in the car. Wow. And I got in line, got a ticket, got in line and got my Olympics. Sweetie, I was watching the GQ piece and was going through your sneakers and one special pair that you actually got sent to you was the Melody Asani Jordan collaboration. Uh -huh. And for a woman designer to send you her sneakers, how special was that for you? Um, it was hella special. And Melody girl, if you're watching it, I definitely need another pair because I don't wear those shoes down to the ground. Damn. Mm -hmm. You dub zero them like in middle yeah. school? <laughs> I definitely, oh, we got to make that a word. Yeah. I dub zero them. Okay. Yeah, like they're, they're scuffed. They're, I didn't. A lot of action took place in them shoes. Okay, so you wore them, you cherished those. Yes. Awesome. And I'm guessing now we met, we met like two years ago and we mm -hmm. did this Adidas thing, but I'm guessing now packages and shoes are just showing up. Is that what's happening? My team like laughs at me because I remember I got the off-white fours yeah. a month before they had came out and they were kind of were just like sitting on my table and one day someone walks in and they're like, bro, you got, Yeah. I'm like, uh, super yeah. limited, <laughs> super limited, super exclusive, and you had them a month right, early. Right, but it's just know. so many packages, I can't keep up. Well, it's it's amazing, and 
Another thing to that point, the off-white fours, and then we had these Amaminier Jordan 3s. I don't know if you saw that, that recently dropped, and they were exclusively released to women in women's sizes first. I did not know that. Yeah, we gotta find those for you, but we have a lot more to do in the sneaker space when it comes to women's designers and women's collaborators, but how do you feel about more opportunities coming, like the Amaminier 3 and the off-white Jordan 4 in like women's sizing? Um, I think it's important because I'm always having to find shoes and boy sizes. Mm -hmm. And sometimes um, shoes are only even made in men's sizes, but I can't even fit men. So I think that we definitely need more sizes for women. Absolutely. And then another woman collaborator, Alaylee May, did the Raiders collaboration, and this is a recent one. And again, another woman collaborator. She just released this Jordan one. Ooh. Yeah. I love the bottom of the shoes. Yeah. Yellow bottoms. Shoot, I'm gonna need my um, my shot. I think I make me a nice little cute shoe. Okay. Have people approached you to do collaborations? Have any of those meetings happened yet, or um, combos? I mean, I have conversations about like stilettos and pumps, but I'm a sneaker girl, so okay. when I get that moment, I'm gonna be really excited about that. Awesome. Well, we talked about everything. Now is the easy part. I feel like you're gonna spend a lot of time in here shopping. It's like the candy store. Let's do it. So what dunks are you feeling today? Girl, all of them. I feel you on that. <laughs> but I do like the veneers. Oh. I heard y'all got the safaris. Yeah, safaris we have. I like this, but the street hawker. Do you have the ones that That's look like this? That's a good pickup. Yes, I do okay. have it in the back. I'll pull those for you. So I gotta support my girls. So I'll get the Alelis. And then I'll also get these two. I think with some gold anklets and a brown cute little summer tight biker suit and gotta be cute all right i love these north carolinas and then i also saw the cream 700s yes the easies we the definitely easies. have those in your size we'll pull those for you okay i would love those as well your total is three thousand eight hundred and fifty nine with 88 cents okay i know that's right <laughs> thank you you're welcome there you go. Thank you. Get these bags for you. Yes, sir. There you go, everything. Thank you. Thank you again. Can I get some security? Yes, I'll do that. <laughs> I'll just get it. So, Sweetie came through, got some great pickups. Thanks so much for taking the time. Thank you for having me. Make sure everyone checks out the Pretty Summer playlist and the new album coming very soon. Very, very soon.